Hello everyone, Shriek here and welcome to Mega Man 5 Part 3. Three Robot Masters, also what we still need to do. <laughs> and the last one we actually beat was Napalm Man. Making the entire right and middle side of the screen empty. Interesting how the circle of weapons actually works in this game. <laughs> Still waiting for a Mega Man game where we can just do the boss in order. <laughs> that would be a little bit too easy now, right? <laughs> but anyway, we got the Napalm Bomb from Napalm Man. And we're going to use that in order to take on the next Robot Master, which is either going to be Stone Man, Charge Man, or Wave Man. And my notes say it is actually going to be Stone Man. I'm not afraid to admit when it comes to this game, I'm not able to do it from memory. Mega Man 5 is actually one of the Mega Man games I played the least, I think, so... The circle of power-ups. For this one, I always need a little bit of backup <laughs> in order to remember. But we have Stone Man, which is actually weak against the Napalm Bomb. Which actually works like this. We throw around a bomb that actually bounces on the ground. And the moment it hits something, it blows up. Pretty weird power-up in all honesty. With the bouncing. <laughs> and also after some time it will blow up as you can see. But we're not going to use it until we actually meet the Robot Master. Only then we can truly use it and stop giving me one-ups game. <laughs> that is uh, by this point definitely the gimmick of the Let's Play by this point. <laughs> the constant life that I get. Yeah, I'm not even going to mention it anymore. Nine lives! <laughs> Let's just move on. Speaking about one-ups is something we're not going to do anymore in this Let's Play. <laughs> I do think this is actually the first day where we really need to start looking out for the um, hidden letter. This is the first time it's not going to be in the pathway. It's actually a little bit more hidden. In fact, when it uh, comes to where it is hidden, <laughs> I think this is the room where we actually need to go. Because this wall is breakable. And yeah, for this I actually didn't need my notes, because this I actually remembered. <laughs> the G is actually hidden in this little hidden room. So, keep note on that. Not that I needed to do it, because I was also able to find it without my notes. <laughs> but you know what I mean. But that, we can actually take care of the rest of the stage. The letters is the only collectible in Mega Man 5, so once you have that, you don't have to worry about anything else other than reaching and beating the Robot Master. Stone Man, of course, being in the mine. That's not a surprise. Pretty much every single Mega Man game so far has um, one of those mining robots. <laughs> Stone Man is the iteration for this one. Yeah, I'm not sure what you're trying there, sir, but uh, <laughs> it's not really hitting me, so <laughs> probably a bad idea that you were doing that. <laughs> silly robots in these games. Perhaps I should be playing some games where the robots are a little bit less silly. Like Metabots, for instance, or Robotron. <laughs> oh, those are games. Can't wait for those. <laughs> oh, we've got Suicide Robots now. Things are getting way more interesting. <laughs> As if the robots weren't silly enough yet. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can still use this in all honesty. I'm pretty low on my energy. <laughs> I wasn't really paying attention to it, but now that I look at it, it's not going too well. <laughs> oh, and here's some more. Still being full health. See, it doesn't matter if you get hit a lot, as long as you're able to heal, you can still get places. <laughs> That's the beauty of Mega Man. I'm definitely not under the impression that I'm able to do a no-hit run in games like these. <laughs> Kudos if you are able to do so, but uh, that's not my kind of thing. I'm not even going to try beating Mega Man or a Mega Man stage without even getting hit. <laughs> that would really be pro. Uh, more suicide bombers. But for this one, we do need to be careful, because this one is going to enter our path. Only one shot is enough. <laughs> Let's climb the ladder. Up, one more screen. Ah, and we're outside again. Apparently, this is a snowy mountain area, officially. Not that the background really matters a whole lot, but still. 
No, stop respawning. <laughs> Silly NES memory. Stop spawning enemies the moment I exit the screen for a short moment. <laughs> Everything is silly in this game. The robots are silly, the memory is silly, <laughs> the NES is silly. <laughs> and now I'm starting to become silly as well. <laughs> oh wait, I was already silly. <laughs> oh, come on. Make sure I let go of the button in time. Three more of these missile robots. And we are done. No, no, wait, there's one more. <laughs> Did not expect to see you, sir. <laughs> oh, we have another one-up. However, um, I did promise I would actually never talk about one-ups anymore in this uh, Let's Play. And therefore, sir... No, honestly, I'm not even sure how to get in there, because... Uh, <laughs> I don't see any invisible walls. Or any walls that I can break. But anyway, like I was trying to say, I don't even need you, so... <laughs> Honestly, I'm not even sure how to get in there, so... <laughs> Perhaps it's a good thing that I'm not able to carry you. Otherwise, I need to waste some time... ...looking how to get in that wall. You are making it very difficult for me, game, to not talk about that that shall not be named. <laughs> but one thing we are going to talk about is energy tanks. Those I don't get in abundance, so... Those I'm actually allowed to still talk about. <laughs> Thank you, Rush. It would also be kind of you if you actually bring me back. <laughs> because the platforms are still gone, so... Oh, and there's Eddie. Who's, of course, going to give me that again. <laughs> oh, if only the life count was able to actually go above nine. Then I was actually able to see how bad the game was actually going to make this at some point. <laughs> if only I had luck like this whenever playing Mario Kart competitively. <laughs> that never happens to me. It only happens in silly games like these. <laughs> oh, come on. No. <laughs> Why are super slow moving robots giving me trouble all of a sudden? <laughs> that should not be a thing. Alright, there we go. Time for the final bit. Yeah, we are here. Still plenty of life left, so... I'm pretty sure I can just immediately try to go for a serious attempt. Napalm Bomb. Let's go. Stone Man. Who looks like a giant brick with arms and legs on it. <laughs> Napalm Bomb is pretty obvious what we need to use in order to hit him, but to be careful because he does crumble the moment he crashes, as you can see. And if he does, you're not able to hit him. So try to do it before he lands, because after he lands, as you can see, it won't cost him any life. And it is a pretty difficult boss fight to actually time. But uh, when it comes to this pattern, he's pretty easily avoided. He moves very slowly, as you can see. Does not jump too far, so... It can't be too difficult. And even the stones that start spinning around don't move too fast, so it can also be avoided pretty easily. Long story short, I can't remember this guy ever giving me a whole lot of trouble. <laughs> and that makes six. What are we going to bring with us when returning to home base? This weapon is called the Power Stone. The Power Stone we're going to use in order to take on one of the two remaining bosses. Charge Man and Wave Man. Normally, I would actually try to go to do both of them also in today's episode. However, we do need to make sure we do them in the correct order, of course. <laughs> so first, the Robot Master that's actually weak to the Power Stone. Locomotive Man. <laughs> Charge Man. But definitely modeled after a locomotive, so you can actually imagine we are going to enter a train setting. Welcome back to Wario Land, everyone. <laughs> Let's go quickly show off the Power Stone. We saw it briefly with the boss fight itself, but the moment you use it, you will actually swing around a couple of stones, like this. And everything it touches 
pretty much dies in one hit. <laughs> really hard to connect, but very powerful. That's the deal for the Power Stone. Let's not waste too much energy, because we're going to need it with the uh, Charge Man. And you can imagine with a power-up like that, it's pretty difficult to use, so... <laughs> Make sure we don't waste too much energy. Let's truly get started with the Charge Man stage. Yeah, indeed, this is definitely Wario Land. <laughs> even moving trains while going over the roof of a train. Even that is a thing. <laughs> so at least we know where Wario Land actually got its inspiration from. <laughs> because this game definitely came out earlier. But still, I always emphasize it with Wario Land a lot more. Because there it happens in every single game, so... <laughs> in Mega Man, it's only in this game. With Locomotive Man. <laughs> and even the metal is right around the locomotives, so... It is definitely the general theming here. Let's get into the train now. With the screen bouncing up and down occasionally. And of course the sounds. <laughs> Still indicating we're in a moving train right now, but now we're on the inside. Um, now I'm full on everything, so I don't have to heal. Except for my normal energy. <laughs> Just got drained a little bit more. <laughs> Come on. Drop normal energy, not weapon energy. Oh, I don't need that. <laughs> to survive this way. Oh, there's an A in the window over there. <laughs> Almost did not see you. The second A in our little word, Mega Man 5. Because yes, in this game is actually one word. <laughs> Only one more to go. Only the E remains. Of course, to be found in the final stage we're going to do after this one. Wave Man. Oh, that's a very subtle way to make sure people don't go over the roof of the train game. <laughs> Just lay a big spike pit there. <laughs> but don't go try using rush jets in order to get there, because I'm pretty sure you will find nothing. <laughs> hmm, I wonder what this is. <laughs> that's a collectible I've never seen before. <laughs> oh, finally some energy. But not a whole lot. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm going to need more than that game. going. Nope. I just jumped right into it. <laughs> I think that's what you can call a reflex. In this case, not a good thing. <laughs> now here's the boss door. There's one of those stupid homing missile robots in front of it. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to die even if I get hit once, so... <laughs> Alright, survived him at least. Therefore, saying we have a checkpoint for the boss. Also, therefore, saying I'm going to try to take you on with the Mega Buster for the first attempt. I'm going to die anyway, I'm pretty sure, so. <laughs> Not going to waste my weapon energy. Because, of course, you don't heal that the moment you return with an extra life. Don't forget about that. So, only if you're absolutely sure you can take him on with all of your strength, only then. Start using your weapon energy, because otherwise you're going to need to heal that some way. And I don't want to waste a weapon energy tank on you. It's something I can use way better in the later stages in this game. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, one thing about him. As you can see, whenever he attacks, he will become red, and then he will also become invincible. So try to make sure you don't connect with him the moment he starts turning red, because then you can't connect with him. <laughs> All with all, a pretty tricky boss. Mostly because of the way you need to hit him. <laughs> if you're using his mortal weakness. But all with all, not the most difficult robot master in history. Still doable. Waveman is going to be taken on with... 
the charge kick. Okay, not sure what that is going to be. Did not look like one of the moves the boss actually used on us, so perhaps it's going to be something new. We have five minutes to take on Wave Man. So be prepared for the next water stage of Mega Man, because of course that's going to be a water stage. <laughs> He's not called Wave Man for nothing. First we're going to... Oh yeah, be careful for these things. <laughs> Steam fans. I'm so focused on the other obstacle that I did not see you. But of course, steam fans are also a thing here. So, the moment you know what the dangers are, relatively easy to do. <laughs> oh, and be careful for these things. They will actually suck you in. So if you want this energy, make sure to jump immediately. Because otherwise, this shoot over here is going to suck you in. And then this will happen. Like a true Mario, Mega Man will go through a pipe. <laughs> in this case, it doesn't really matter where you end up. You do get an extra life if you go in the right one, but in my case, that actually does nothing. <laughs> extra life is the most useless power-up I can actually find at this point. <laughs> Never thought I would hear myself say that, but the one-up is actually useless to me. <laughs> and that in a Mega Man game. I'm pretty sure these bubbles will actually never pop. But these you can actually safely uh, ride on. Only the small ones will actually pop the moment you uh, step on them, like this. The big ones are safety. Okay, I need to go right a bit more, game. Thank you! <laughs> Just in time. So next up we're going to find... I'm pretty sure there's water in the stage, but... Oh yeah, of course, here it is. And this part I remembered, but... <laughs> well, that's when it's going to show up. Mega Man in this little motorboat. <laughs> this first part is actually relatively easy. The enemies only appear on the right, as you can see. No, never mind, there's still one coming from the left. <laughs> I didn't remember that, but I thought that was actually for a later part. Oh yeah, these jumping enemies I can also remember. Perhaps I'm misremembering entirely. Oh yeah, this part I also remember. The mid-boss. I did remember this part actually consisted out of multiple rooms. And I thought that the enemies coming from the left actually only appeared in the later rooms. <laughs> and apparently it was already in the first room. Oh, speaking of uh, multiple rooms, the... The third room is actually also the room where the letter appears, so be prepared for that. It is therefore a missable collectible, so be careful. If you miss the letter here, you cannot return. You're forced to actually kill yourself. You return to the checkpoint. Keep an eye out on that. I'm taking care of these enemies, because make sure you don't get killed as well. <laughs> that, there it is. Here's the E. Therefore, make sure you jump in time, otherwise you're going to have to get yourself killed. And try again. Or just finish the stage and come back later. That's also an option, of course. <laughs> because like I said in the first part, the stages always stay open. So, now that we have all of the letters, we can actually see what it unlocks. Because of course it unlocks something. <laughs> it is actually a pretty nifty little robot bird called Beat. Beat also comes equipped with weapon energy, so don't think you can actually infinitely use this guy. But it is a very powerful asset. If we actually summon Beat... He will automatically start attacking enemy robots on the screen. Like this popcorn robot, for instance. <laughs> Very powerful weapon. However, as you can see, every time it makes a hit, it will cost weapon energy. So Beat can definitely not be used in order to cheese the game. But if you get in a pinch, it is a very helpful little bird. <laughs> next up, we're going to use the charge kick in order to take on the next boss. And I'm pretty sure I forgot to show this off at the beginning. <laughs> So I'll do it now. The charge kick is actually a powered up version of your slide move. If you start sliding now, it will also become an attack. And that is the use for the charge kick. Oh, and he also has geysers with him, it seems. <laughs> so that's what you're using that harpoon for. <laughs> okay, this is actually pretty tricky to time. Whenever you start using your slide, make sure you can actually exit after him, because otherwise you're going to exit your attack while still standing in him, and therefore also hurt yourself. 
So timing this is definitely not easy. But if you're able to do so, he dies pretty quickly. It does a lot of damage to him, as you can see. <laughs> and with that, we actually obtain the final weapon in the game. Normally used in order to take on Starman, if you actually do it in different order. <laughs> but the Water Wave is actually the mortal weakness for Starman. So perhaps you can actually um, save that until the boss rush, because of course, every Mega Man game has a boss rush. <laughs> and this one too, eventually. But before we actually start worrying about boss rushes, we first need to start worrying about our dear brother Proto Man. After taking on all of his robot masters, it is time to take on him. Next time, in part 4 of Mega Man 5, we are going to enter the second phase of Mega Man. Robot masters taken out, it is time to move on to Proto Man's castle and see why the hell he's doing all of this. <laughs> After being so helpful the last couple of parts, it is time to start asking a couple of questions, dear brother. But so that will happen next time. Thank you for watching. Next time, a new face in this game. Treeks out.